This is Jan from The Aging Nerd. Recently, I was watching Battlestar Galactica, the original one. I watched season one, no problem. Came to season two, I picked the disc out, put it in, and it just wouldn't play. Looked at the disc, and it's suffering from disc rot. On the underside of the disc, it's just mottled with small black splodges. They look like holes have been eaten into the reflective silver surface. I've checked eBay, Computer Exchange, Music Man Pie, and a few other second-hand places. In the end, for a replacement, I had to go to Amazon and buy it new. So I've decided to rip it. So if this copy starts to rot, I've still got a digital version of it. I used Make MKV to rip the disc, the same as I did with the Blu-ray in one of the other videos on the channel, and ended up with each episode around 1.5 gigabytes. For a video file with only 576 lines, I do believe that's quite large. Um, as a quick note, um, I'm here in the UK and we use PAL. So the resolution of DVDs is actually a little greater than the NTSC regions, which only got 480 lines. The whole debate of what's better, PAL or NTSC, if you go over to the Technical Connections YouTube channel, Alex does several videos in length about the differences between the two formats is a lot more eloquent than I could ever be and explains it a lot better than I ever could but in short I believe PAL is the better format however it is 11 years newer or in correct English NTSC is 11 years older than PAL. Think of it this way. When you were four and you drew a picture, was it better than when you were 15 and drew a picture? But that's off topic. Right, let's use FFmpeg to compress the ripped file to H265 and we'll reduce the file size ready to install the episode onto my Plex server. Let's get started. I'm going to rip a small section from the larger file just so I can do some comparisons with quality profiles. So let's get started. We will use the command ffmpeg i, the original file name, and as we want all the audio and all the videos, we'll use the minus map space zero option. We want all the parameters and codecs the same from the original so we're just going to use the minus C copy option. I want a 16 second clip of the main episode just to try the different quality profiles to see which is best. So minus SS and then the position we want the clip to start. In this case 21 minutes and 4 seconds in. Minus T signifies the duration of the clip, and this is set to 16 seconds. Now we just need to add the output file, and we have our test clip. Now press return. FFmpeg will run, and we've now generated a 16 second clip of the original episode called clip.mp4. Let's compress the 12 second clip into three different quality profiles using the H265 encoder and we'll see which one's best. So as usual, FFmpeg minus I, then the file name. We want to map everything because we want both audio and video. For a codec for the video, we want libx265. The codec for the audio, we just want to copy the original, no messing with it at all. Mm. 
now we'll do minus RC for rate control and we want the format to be a constant quality profile and we want the profile number to be 24 and then an output file name I just want to pause the video here and explain a bit more why I'm using or trialing Quality Profile 24 with a Blu-ray rip, i.e. test from about a Quality Profile of 20. But due to this is a 1980s TV show with DVD resolution, 20 will be complete overkill. So I'll start at 24 and work my way up from there until I find one that I deem suitable. Right, press return and we'll encode word to Quality Profile 24. While I'm at the command prompt I'm going to encode one to 28 and then one to 30. The exact same command only the QP option changes number. Here we change it to 28 different file name press return and we encode right the same command again but only a quality profile of 30 so when this command's finished, we'll have four files. The original, a quality profile of 24, 28, and 30, and we can compare them all together. Right, we'll compare the two and I can't tell any difference at all. So we'll compare the 28 quality profile against the original and see what that's like. Here we have quality profile 28. And if I'm honest, I can't really tell the difference with this one either. So we'll move to the quality profile of 30 and we'll check that one. Right, here's quality profile 30. I think this is a step too far. The grassy bank to the left has loads of artifacting on, so I think we'll stick with Quality Profile 28. Right, we've settled on Quality Profile 28, so we'll run FFmpeg on the main episode rather than the clip to encode it and reduce file size. So FFmpeg minus I, file name, minus map 0 to map everything audio and video. We're going to use an encoder for the video of Libex265, we're going to copy the audio stream, we'll add the rate control option with a quality profile of 28, add an output file name and then press return to kick off the encoder. Once the encoder is kicked off, just let it do its thing. I'm going to stop the encoder video right now and I'll come back with some file comparisons once it's encoded. Here's the final results. The original episode, 1.5 gig. The H265 with college group profile of 28 encoded video, 336 meg. So as you can see, it's a fraction of the size. I'll just import this into my Flex server and I'll be able to watch it whenever I want. This has been Jan from The Aging Nerd. I hope this video has been useful to you. Please consider subscribing. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down.